Do you ever so, think about buying a home? I don't know if it's a good idea financially. Like I'm Yeah, but... I was so I was going to do that this year, but obviously the market so w- was so funky and it seems like it's uh, it's going to like fall off the cliff. And so honestly, like what I've been doing is waiting on the market to fall off that cliff. So mm-hmm. God, I don't want to throw nah, I go like, to Texas. No, because I don't want to throw like that weed? a half million dollars at something and mm-hmm. then next year that half million dollar house could have been a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar house. It's like man, because the difference is huge. Like, I, look, I, I don't. There's first world problems here, but mm-hmm. the difference between a quarter million dollar house and like a four hundred thousand dollar house really isn't a ton. But when you go from four hundred to like six or seven hundred, it's like, yeah, y'all added like another house and made everything nicer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's it's a big step up. But um, Texas, so. Texas is really crazy, and I don't imagine that the 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 prices estate- would drop there because it's like I can't believe how big these houses are for the amount that the people yeah. pay, uh, like are paying. What did you mean by plus crazy? you could get guns again? I'm not sure about that. What did you mean, Texas? What do you is mean? Crazy? Oh, Seattle. Texas is like I've seen yeah. like seven hundred thousand dollar houses. That are would cost five million in Canada. Easily. Exactly, exactly. Uh, because all right, so what well, you're starting Canada, with the yeah. piece of land that you're sitting on, right? Like, so I grew up in that little. You've been there, little Franklin County, Georgia, and um, so property there, like where my dad is, like when I was growing up, that land was five thousand dollars an acre. It's still only like ten thousand dollars an acre or something like that. But if you if you buy property right there on the lake, it's a quarter million dollars, and they don't even cut it into acres anymore. They cut it into like quarters and halves of acres. Mm-hmm. It it's the same thing. You go out to Texas and they're like, "Yeah, we got plenty of land." Like like, what do you five? It's probably five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars an acre. It's not like building a house <clears throat> right out in the suburbs somewhere where like the piece of property that I'm sitting on right now, God knows. I, I, yeah, I bet this it gets this, really cheap. I, I was watching a YouTuber. Now this isn't where you'd want to live because it doesn't have utilities and everything's. 40 minute drive away, but it was $287 an acre. $287. Like that is an acre is a little over free. Yeah. 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 There, um, it, 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 at that point it, it becomes what kind of utilities can we expect out here? What kind of, um, internet capabilities? Electricity, Where's the cost? Go? The cost. Hmm. Oh, the Costco. Costco. Yeah. Yeah. The store. Yeah. Literally, I see a place and I'm like, you could have nothing. You got a Costco and a Walmart. And I'm like, let's go, bro. This is a viable location to begin a life. I, I'm packing for a big for the move, so no July Fourth celebrations for me. I actually oh, threw away yeah. a bag of pork rinds I found in the uh, in the I cabinet. Know I asked this before. How how far away is your move? Like in minutes? Um, I guess it depends how fast you're moving. A light jog. <laughs> 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 what kind of vehicle? Maybe are you walking? Yeah, there's a I'm, lot of. You know, with traffic, ah, like thirty minutes or something like that. Just other side of town. Cool. Uh, just I, I like it better there. It shouldn't Have be you done as, uh, uh, any procrastination, or are you looking around at boxes you know, and, and the tapes on there, and you're just waiting for the truck to show up, or are you gonna have that like, are you gonna have that wild panic tonight of doing? So yeah, I, I've got four movers, a gigantic truck. I just have to have everything in boxes, and uh, it's. 90 percent done the, the the remaining stuff it's like i'm not gonna pack up my coffee maker until the last minute it's shit like that mm-hmm. um there are boxes that need to be taped together but that's because i'm waiting on tape to be delivered right now uh and then the cleanup like the going around and picking up wrappers and broken toothpicks that fell during the the couch move and like that just junk off the floor that's the real time consuming thing um because everything else is pretty packed up except for this all this is sitting right here all of this shows the last since we're done here, I'll I imagine him pointing to like it. 19 empty soda cans. Like, except no. this, this, this is the same as it always is. Except for my Pepsi Zero collection. I'm bringing that with me. <laughs> now I, I got a dumpster last week and I got every bit of trash um, that could be gotten out of the house, like out, because I'm just every time I move, there's I'm not bringing you. You're going to the you're going out of here like stuff. Socks get thrown out old shoes and shit. Got rid of a couch. Uh, moving on to couch 2.0. I'm gonna get this uh, this like pit couch. It's like it's it's um, it's like a big cube on the floor. Mm-hmm. It's it's as deep as it is wide. Um, so the dog's gonna love that. It's gonna be just beautiful. I um I think I got leather. I think I did. I don't I don't really remember. I buying a bunch of things this week for the new house. Uh, I'm pretty excited though. I, it, this is gonna be the easiest move I've had in a while because I do have the movers. 
It's not even. You that said expensive. you had four people, but I, I didn't movers, gather if they were mover professionals. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. like your buddy and his wife and like a kid who doesn't like, want to oh, be there. God. They're gonna be late. They'll instantly criticize how much you put into boxes. Oh, uh, dude. There's like there. It is so similar to any form of group work in school. Every time mm. you go to help someone move, and there's like a group of four guys, it is baked into the cake that one guy will not touch anything. And another guy will mostly socialize with that guy, sometimes putting a hand on it. And then of yeah. the two remaining movers, one of them is doing it begrudgingly because he doesn't want to be affiliated with the two lazies. And the other one is, I want this to be done as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. There's always yeah, one competent, fast as possible guy. The fast as possible guy is not always the best guy for the job. Like, no. I'll get that he gets a lot of work done, but he creates a lot of stress and trouble as well. Yeah. He's, well, if you're, let's say this. If you're moving, Woody, mm. and I'm helping you move, and Kyle's the let's get it done guy. I'm a fan of Kyle. You, as the person having your shit moved, want someone being more careful. But me, as the mover, is like, yeah, Kyle's, yeah, okay. Kyle kind of bangs I, that into the car, corner of the wall there, whatever. Home, you know, I can line up with that. But also, like, I don't want the fastest possible guy who's just fussing and not happy that things aren't going faster. Like, oh, that guy's got we, a social problem. Oh, we, can, true, we all got to stay calm during a move. You, That's have good attitude. Work and you know what I don't like? I don't like the girl that tries to be the guy. That's my least favorite mover. I got it's like, this hand. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, sweetheart. Your job is to organize people. Every time you see someone to carry a box, you tell them what room it goes to. You're going to have a vastly improved unpacking experience. If you yeah. have everyone put the box in the... If every box goes in the dining room, which is what's going to happen if you carry a fucking lampshade, because that's all you're capable of carrying, mm -hmm. then this isn't going to be a good move. Instead, direct traffic, it'll be so much better. Yeah, direct I've, traffic I've been and on unbox, take care of the nitty nitpicky stuff. I would so much rather deal with five minutes of horrible annoyance getting a couple bruises on my forearms with a really heavy couch then unbox shit and put it away for an hour and i think every man would rather do that would you rather sit there and like open up the fucking put people? i hate that part yeah I, i've been on both think... ends of really bad moves like i hmm. my, my buddy sergey when i was a kid when i was like 19 or 20 it was like oh yeah you come help me move and i was like yeah i'll come help you move and me and another guy went over there and we worked all day so hard he had this oak furniture, this heavy shit. It kept reminding me of that scene in Pulp Fiction where he's like, you like oak, Jimmy? Because <laughs> <laughs> he had wood on earth. Yeah. Oh, my God. And 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 he was he was uh, Ukrainian. So he had like he had like this ornate dining table that I assume had some religious significance. <laughs> so like, like it looks Orthodox stained. It looks too table. fancy for him. Yeah. And, and you had to carry it so carefully. There was crystals jiggling inside of things. Then the other th time was when I moved out here to Atlanta um, and Eric from Iraq veteran eight, 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 eight. And uh, his cameraman, Chad came here and, and they brought another guy who I don't remember, but, but, they worked so fucking hard for me all goddamn day. I know I compensated them somehow, but I don't think Eric would take money. Like they worked so hard. Cool it, it was the all weight. day. They drove the truck. They they brought the truck to me and then drove it to the place. Uh, well Eric, learned. Eric's a great guy. He's gonna call <laughs> in that favor. He's gonna have a giant mansion that needs like a pool table moved. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> I mean, I guess Kyle. I would show up. Kyle, I need to come. <laughs> no <laughs> hey you owe me one every no, once in a while when you're moving shit do you get annoyed because you don't feel like the other person realizes how heavy what you're dealing with on your end is like oh. i had to help a friend move a pool table mm. and it was a nine foot a nine, if you don't know pool tables come in like like seven feet like seven and a I half eight that, foot like all the way up to like yeah all the way up yeah. to like nine feet and nine feet is a big boy and he bought yep. a nine foot pool table with like the slate like where mm -hmm. it's got really high quality slate under it and he told me like yeah they're dropping it off in my front yard and so i went and met up in his house and there's like stairs to get up to his house and they, it is i i see it sitting there and it's I almost laugh looking at it. It's the <laughs> it's the heaviest object it's a symbol. I've ever seen. It's it it's no, there's no it's just a full table. There's no legs on it. Just the table part. 
the legs had to be put on. Does it already. have that um I don't, that that skirting along the side that's sort of decorative to hide the pockets and stuff so that you can't grab it from the underneath? Yes. Mm. Yeah. And it's, Great. And it's like the whole time. <laughs> it's not like it's not like all right, we picked up a bullshit pool table from Walmart. Kind of get it in there. It's like this is a really nice pool table. You can't jitter it. You can't mess with it. You don't want to. The pockets are all ornate. The slate under it is like the highest quality, densest How did slate you do they it? can find. Uh, it. Slowly, slowly, mm-hmm. and it was. What did you grab? It was maybe we grabbed the like flat area in between the like in the middle, so it was almost oh balancing too. God. And poor, trying to move it up shit. there, and he's a he's a uh, at the time he was personal training. He's a very fit guy, and so he and I were our strongest friends. And it took the two of us like thirty minutes of like barely moving it so, and having to stop. Barely, I, had, I don't like, know actual if mine cuts <laughs> on my hands from like. The amount of pressure it was—it was. I have never like been more emotionally torn up after moving something physically Jesus. because there was a time where we got it like part of the way up the the stairs, and he was like stopping on his end. And I was at the bottom, like we can't stop, we can't, like because <laughs> it's like gonna fall on me. And I was like <laughs> trying to move it up. It was the most. You're not supposed to move those something. like that. So I've got. No, I don't know if mine is nine feet. You're supposed I, to I, hire someone to move a pool table. You have I thought to. it was going to be a, like a you seven foot to. pool table, like a small bullshit Walmart one, like I have. Even no, those, he, he's like got a fucking training. Well, not the, the Walmart Olympics one. Yeah. So I've got a slate pool table. I don't know the length. I don't remember that, but it's it's longer than six for sure. I know it's longer than I am. And I I had that thing assembled in my shop, and then it had been sitting there for like three weeks, and I was like, oh, it's time to put a machine in. Pool table's right in the way. So I had to pay a second time for the professional <laughs> pool man to come. He disassembles the thing. He defelts it. You know that felt is tucked in and tightly, mm-hmm. like, like pulled wow. into the corners, like, like, like perfectly. Mm-hmm. Felt comes off. The slate is in three pieces. It's a three-piece thing. Each piece of slate weighs like how far did you move for this? You could. 50, well, you said it was in the way. I'm feet. picturing. Fifty he feet. He had to do all that, huh? Because if you reached under it, uh, you would start applying pressure to pick it up, and you could feel the skirting breaking with the pressure of your hands. And we're not even close to lifting. We're not even close to lifting. This There's thing no weighs way to three hundred like... to five hundred pounds, something like that. Mm. Absolute nightmare. That sucks. If nightmare. you're gonna re- like requisition friends to move, make sure that like the fridge, like pool. the pool table, <laughs> uh, gym equipment. Like, can you imagine, like, you go to move someone and they have like a lat pull down machine? Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, going, that's happening I'm tomorrow. Going home, that's why <laughs> I would, I would, like, I, I would be too embarrassed to invite for if I had to move to a new house and move all my gym stuff and everything. I wouldn't allow friends to help me. I'd be like, that's kind of you. I don't want to waste your I time. I feel like once you cross thirty, you're not supposed to be moving your like pick, carrying your own shit anymore. That, yeah. that should be in the past. I am moving on in four days, but it's not me. It's Hope who's moving. And she asked me to help. That's less and dumb. like yeah. on one hand, like I've been lifting weights for a couple of years. And I can kind of pick up heavy things. On the other hand, I'm 50 and my back always hurts. Mm-hmm. It's like, you don't ask 50 year olds to help you move. Then <laughs> everyone knows this. Who, who's like, who do I know that'd be good for moving? Grandpa. Like, that's not a. I've she got, I've got a counter. I got a counter. Her in your physical prowess at 50. So. <laughs> like there's a number you can call. I mean, there's there's an app even that that last. Mm-hmm. So I moved my shit by myself last time because I thought it was a good idea, and it was such a fucking nightmare <laughs> that I ended up having to call movers just to unload the truck. Like I I, I, I was like I'm not unloading that truck. I'm not doing. <laughs> I can't. Maybe I might not be able to. And, and and but but the number on the side of the U-Haul just got me in touch with people who were like, Yeah, you ready now? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm ready now. Where? Where are you? Because I just called an 800 number. Like, we're like five minutes away, man. You need us? Yeah, yeah both of you. Like, you cash app? I'm like, for sure. <laughs> and they were there, like, lifting shit, heavy shit, and being careful. You could supervise guys like that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be, I, <laughs> when we moved into this house, we did some, um, like, de- deconstruction on the stable. It was hit by a tornado, so I had to, like, throw stuff away and... Uh, rebuild it cool well there's a big pile of debris and i hired these two guys it was like two guys in a dumpster and they come one of the guys is just jacked stronger than i could ever possibly be and i and i was like dude like 
<laughs> this is you look like you're built for picking shit up. <laughs> Apparently, that's the most racist thing you can say. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, what he said was, "You look like you were bred for it." <laughs> <laughs> like, he looked at his friend, and I was like, "I, I just mean you're strong." And, and they're like, "All right, hunky, all right, you know." <laughs> and they just like went to work. <laughs> But uh, wearing, you shouldn't have been wearing that plantation owner's hat and chewing, <laughs> chewing on a piece of straw. They didn't mind that because oh, it was sunny. My it was God, the- I ain't never seen somebody whole or dry the way you're doing it right now, boy. Uh, it was sunny out. They didn't mind the hat. It was the whip. It was the whip that turned them off. <laughs> Yeah. The, the After you finish problem. dropping off that dry, I'll bring me something cool to drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little lemonade. <laughs> a little lemonade to make it snap. You're, you're snapping at them. Just I'm getting, to, them, to put getting the out. vapors. Yeah, I'm getting the vapors. They were like, weird. are there any snakes in this pile of debris? And I was like, oh, yeah. I can't say for sure there's not. <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> well, number one, speak when spoken to now. Number two. <laughs> don't you hate when people don't have a sense of humor? Because my, I would have wanted to be like, oh, yeah, and make sure you catch them. Don't let them get away. There's, there uh, should be eight. There should be eight. <laughs> <laughs> you that, come back with was, seven. We, we got to have I words. Said that. There should be eight. Don't let any slip. <laughs> you know what you should have done? Like, next time they came up carrying something, you should have been like, whoa, whoa, whoa. If it isn't the fucking toothpick twins with their little legs and their, and their bullshit on. Dude. Hey, do you guys want to put that down? I don't want you to hurt yourself. Let me get a couple of girls. I, I just turned down a couple of cookie boxes. Let me see if I can grab her. I, I, swear I told I'm him just to say big more guy. Racist, but yeah. He was built like a silverback gorilla. He was just Holy so strong. Shit. His arms were long. His biceps were huge. And he hated when you said that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it was when you started rubbing his shit, his sloped forehead. He didn't care for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not this fabric. I was trying yeah. to bond with him when I picked up my poop and threw it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't get the joke. Man, you yeah, guys. I would do that. Like, uh, I, I'm never going to move my shit again. I was talking to Scott come about this he's doing a a, a move of uh, of one kind or another and i was like dude you why are you moving your shit he's like you know what at some point you just have enough money for movers and, and then that that switch doesn't flip in your head but it has now kyle thank you <laughs> i don't have to move my shit anymore I'm like, yeah you don't because it's not that even that expensive nice, it's like a nice grand switch. it's like and a grand and, and now you don't hurt yourself is yeah. hope at uh is she at the phase where it's real deal furniture? You'd have to move like a nice couch, this or is it like you know, from mismatch. an apartment? Into a house? Yeah, like uh, she has a desk in particular that's really heavy, but like it, it's a desk that I bought her years ago. Like I think when we bought this house, I got her a nice oh, desk, okay. and that's, that's going deal. with her. Um, uh, yeah, there's a mix. There's like some bullshit. She's she's grabbing a couch that we used as a uh, like outside on the porch type couch. And it's sitting in the stable right now, and I guess it's clean. And she's like, "If you're not using it, we could, we could use that." Check like, for all right, me. cool. So that weighs nothing, but then other stuff weighs a ton. Yeah, just when you're helping people move like out of apartments, that mm-hmm. phase was easy because it'd be like, "We got to move my couch," and it's like, "That's a futon." <laughs> like, I'm gonna move my dressers this way is we're gonna this is gonna shatter when we lift it dude like this is gonna move yeah, yeah, right. this, these all these of these things board. are held together with the cam locks yeah, from the IKEA. Cam. <laughs> dude, I, I had that happen like just like trying to move like out of my old apartment one of those like tall ikea bullshit slat oh. ones literally i took so little time to assemble it that the back had been on incorrect like on reverse yep. the whole time i like went to like move it and the whole thing fell like a prop <laughs> like like a breakaway board because there was like if you don't have books or anything on there everything had been removed like you don't realize like the weight of the books or board games or whatever that's what's actually holding that up the weight yeah. of the things on it you take that off and you like move it and it just accordion style <laughs> yeah. just falls on I, it off. kitty and i bought two of those ikea desks like forever ago because we were just oh, we need two desks now god I like like terrible decisions we put those bitches together, and I remember one of them. I can't remember how. I think I spilled a drink on it, like a big drink, mm. and that just ruined it. Like it got wet. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it turned into like it sort of like degraded this the structural integrity of the whole desk. After that, <laughs> it, it was soggy. Now <laughs> <laughs> it just I soaked it up like a sponge. <laughs> I was like, "Is it going to be super hot when I move her?" No. Oh yeah. Rain. It's going to be. Real deal rain on Saturday. So that's the worst. That stink. That's the worst. Rain's bad. It's slippery then. Yeah, I'd have I'd have movers for sure. I think it's mover time. 
and tell them you do not want anything to get wet. <laughs> Here's a roll of paper towels. Put it over anything that might get exposed to air. <laughs> no, you've got umbrella hats for all of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know I called Tsunami Steve's moving company because all my stuff's ruined. Kick them out. Uh, moving. I thought I was thought I was done with that. Nope. I, uh... Nope. You nah, never it, it, nah. just just keep on coming back for more. Nobody, I, I usually, I, my my dad never helped me move. I think he was mad the first time I moved, and uh, the second or third time I moved, um, it was always something. I always I either had help or, but he's never assisted in one of those moves. He's got an off easy. You wouldn't think to ask my father. Like it, he's always he always worked really hard, you know. And yeah, I I bet he average just like a hundred hours a week. You're gonna ask that guy to carve out some time to move yeah. you, <laughs> like carry shit. Yeah, no, I just don't want to convenience. All his free time is reading about Israel. And the and other so thing is, like, when I when well, I do call retired. him, when I do call him and I need a favor, I want it to be a rare occurrence. So he's like, "Oh yeah, hell, it's been years since you've asked for anything." Mm-hmm. I want it to be hard to turn me down when I need something. It'll be like, "Hey, Dad, I need you to go to the tag office for me and do mm-hmm. some paperwork, so I don't have to drive five hours today." Oh yeah. yeah. I'm on the way now. Um, and, but it's you know I get addicted to things. I'm, I'm moving this week, so that's going to definitely keep me off the game a little How bit. How far is your move? That'll be a good tea break for you. You mean in distance? Oh, like yeah, like or 20 minutes. minutes or something like okay. that. Um, it's it's such a better area. Um, um, for the what dog, makes the area better? It, it's all about the dogs. I've got like a right now. I've got a small backyard, and I have mm-hmm. to run them on a lead because I can't put up a fence here. Um, mm-hmm. Where I'm going has. An enormous yard with like a basketball court in it. There's a bat. I have my own little, not like a, I shouldn't say basketball. There's a hoop with like a concrete pad out there. You're going to get uh, into the game. You and I are going to talk stats and stories oh. on the show. <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm not even going to buy a ball. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not, I won't do that to myself because I know five pound it. dumbbells through the hoop. <laughs> I remember every time I've ever played before and just really hating it. But uh, I will be able to play with the dogs out there because um, and and just go crazy and get a bunch of dog toys. I'm gonna get one of those um, ball things that launches the ball for them and get a fucking. It's gonna be fun. But, I used to uh, play with I, a lacrosse stick because they bring the tennis balls back so slimy and disgusting. Uh, What's the thought? Yeah, and you scoop them up and sling them. Mm-hmm. Have you seen those things that the dogs like load with the ball and then it launches it for them? <laughs> I have, but I've never trained a dog to load one. I'm afraid th- the fear isn't spending $250 on a dog toy. It's spending $250 on a dog toy that your dog is too stupid to use. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> then people come around like, oh, does he know how to use it? No, he's fucking stupid. Not as stupid as me for buying that, though. <laughs> My dog guess. trained me to put it in there for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, um, so I thought getting high while moving would, would help um, just like tolerate how awful it was. Because like, I don't know. It's been a I'd while. Be worried since it would I make just... me unmotivated. Like I'd be like, ugh. Now I'm feeling like oh, tired. No. If anything, it, it's like we gotta go. I kept looking at everything to do and being like, "You're not even fucking cl- out loud. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even fucking close to being close to being close. You bitch boy. <laughs> you got." I was like, like I would take these little. I would overheat, and so I was shirtless the whole time wearing a cowboy hat and sunglasses like doing this shit <laughs> because the sun's beating down on me it's Looking 100 degrees very in cool yeah <laughs> I, I look pretty fucking sick i'm gonna be honest i look at myself in the mirror i was like fuck yeah like, like, I, was, I was overhead, I was, overhead pre- <laughs> I was overhead pressing a tv at the time and it, it was a, it was a good look um but but i was and i'm drenched in sweat and anyway um i got a little hard and um but i think that's just all the, 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 the blue chew. I, yeah I had the the worst time I've ever had. Can I interrupt you, Kyle? Yeah, please do. Where is it? Oh, so I said, Kyle said he's moving. And I'm like, I'm in the jar in the gym hitting PRs. I was really excited (laughs) because I and he replies, You don't know what a workout is until you've muscled a king size Casper mattress down a hill (laughs) into a (laughs) U-Haul. That's That's harder than any bench press. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. What I did today. I mm-hmm. I, moved. I I grabbed that thing like a goddamn ant, put it on my back, 
and took it up the steepest flight of stairs you've ever seen. And then a <laughs> hairpin turn <laughs> and then set it up. I did that before we started the show. It's well, you're all day. set up for after show, right? Your, your TV's I, I not set also, up, though. Um, everything but the TV. I've drilled the thing in. I'm going to hang it uh, as soon as the show's over. I can hang it by myself now. Like, like I just underestimated how strong I am, if I'm being honest. Like, when I first hung it, you can the hang TV, it by it yourself. A, yeah. I thought you had to have someone back there to like screw it in for you. So, it's my the way my thing works, the TV has a bracket with hooks like this. I'm trying to like do fingers. Oh, and, yeah. And those just like hook in to a, the other bracket. And then when you let the TV go, it bump the bottom bracket bumps into. Uh, the re the part on the wall, and then put a couple bolts in here and here, and it's all locked in, and then you can, mm -hmm. you know, Mine works articulate. Like that. Oh, yeah. Mine's like all screwed. Very, in. very easy to hang. What yeah, you know, you've got the possibly... basically. Yeah, he has a base on the wall, and then the other part hooks into the base, and the 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 rotation and the gravity holds it in. Yeah. Huh. How well, that you been can't easier. screw behind the TV. I'm curious if you did it wrong. No, no, like I, I, I had to have okay. a guy come over because like, and I had like, it, it was one of those brackets that you obviously mount to the studs and then it has like those two bars and mm -hmm. I bought it from Samsung because I'm like, I do not want a fucking one that's not going to work. So I got one that was like, not from Samsung, but like Samsung recommended. And that's what it was. It, it takes four, cause there are four screw holes or six screw holes in the back of the TV and they all line up with it. And so you needed to like bolt them all in. So I had to hold it up while this fucker was like back there. I, the ones I've seen, half of it goes on the wall, half of it goes on the TV, then you put them together. So that, put yeah, it on a TV a stage one. you're talking about, happens in, on the comfort of your bed while you attach oh, it. Oh, okay. No, I don't even have a TV in my bedroom. I never watch TV as I'm going to bed. And like, it would just keep me up longer. Like, when I go to in the bedroom, that has to be my time to sleep. Otherwise, I would just fiddle around I've always, just be watching shit. I've always, had one, I've always had one in the bedroom. Obviously, when you're a kid, when I was a kid, you didn't have... Did you guys have TVs in your bedrooms as kids? I did. As like an older kid, yeah. It depends. I, as a young kid, I did. And then when we moved to Ocean City, I lost it. I got like a so big glass entire, screen TV when I was like 15, I think. My entire childhood, I had a TV. As long as I had a room, um, like maybe second grade, I got, had a TV. Like, like it, was a, it wasn't a cool TV. It was pretty small. It was like a, one of those TV VCR combos. And then, you know, that I got better TVs as the years went on. But I've, So I've always had one in the bedroom. It's a new bedroom, though. I haven't decided. I kind of want to take this enormous, heavy motherfucker, like I, like I was telling Matt, stick it on the wall over there. So I've got lots of screens, like Fahrenheit 420 or whatever. Not about Fahrenheit 420. That's a different book. Uh, 451. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> and uh, that would require a new TV or a projector. I'm real big on the idea of a whole fucking projector system in the bedroom. Like hanging down thing. above the bed beaming into the wall some movie that could be neat. quality shit uh, <laughs> we're totally in the uh, putting rock. cannabis into anything phase of uh of legalization and if there was cannabis infused lubricant that there is there is and it works i like, like I, I thought I, again just, this whole butthole thing is not just me making jokes i'm telling you it'll get you high as fuck you gotta put some weed in your butt woody okay yeah, get after it. Right. Dude, guys, Say they, less. Take, they, we, they literally take What he's got, like, a big, <laughs> a big piece of flower. <laughs> oh, the stem's really hurt, though, Kyle. I don't know. You know what we could do? I'll we come could do, back uh, next week. Kyle, my stems were so pokey and pointy. How do you do we it? Could, uh, we could talk to him about making up that product. Like, we could, we could brand it, like, Kyle's, what would be a good, uh, like, Kyle's butthole bonanza. Kyle's... Uncle Kyle's tranny fluid. No. <laughs> this is a, no, this is I'm, not <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not going to not doing that. <laughs> we'll have to fucking hard pass that one. <laughs> oh god. Um, I don't know what we call it. I, as far as what I'm going to take when it gets here tomorrow, uh, I'm going to start small, like always, with a new, yeah. you know, provider uh, or anything like that. If I'm changing brands or checking out something new, because you never know what the potency is going to be. Um. You we, know how you test I've, it is you take eight of these at a time and you go, oh, so I take, <laughs> so I take, I take five of those at a time. Um, those that you're, that you've got right there. Mm -hmm. And those take me to a real happy place. Yeah, um, like, like where I'm, my head is pounding with highness when I take five of those. 
Uh, that's the only way to, to describe that. And that's 125 uh, milligrams compared to oh. 300. Because these are these are 25. Those are dose lower. Of these is, is that the HHC or the Delta 8? These are HHC. The HHC I think and the Delta, Delta 8. Oh, okay. I find the Delta 8 to be stronger, but um, a different high. Like, I, like the HHC is more of a... And I hate when this is that girl fucking high on Zima shit, maybe. But when I took the HHC stuff, I was in a very giggly, happy mood. And watching like old TV shows and just having a real sweet time, uh, but when I take the Delta Eight, I'm getting blacked out high. Like like we're going, <laughs> we're we're not going to remember most of the movie we watched tonight. It's it and it, and that's kind of nice. We talked about removing memories yeah. of movie of movies last week. When you watch a movie super duper high, you know you like the movie, but you don't really remember it that well. So you get to watch it a second time and and kind of for the oh. first time. That's did I, did I tell you, I, uh, I, I went to go see, uh, it must have been like 2000, yeah, 2009, when Django Unchained came out. So I was like 18, and me and some buddies were going to go and see the, the movie. And so we, we get in my buddy's big SUV, and we, we go out there, and uh, we pregame, we get a little a little drunk, a little, probably, probably a little too drunk <laughs> that we should have been before going to see Django Unchained. Not like rowdy drunk, just like that. Like the drunk enough that if you stop drinking, you're going to get tired. Mm. And then we combined that with a shit ton of weed. And I remember sitting in the back, like hitting a vape high out of my mind at Django Unchained and like loving it. Absolutely. Like in my mind, loving Django Unchained. And like the next day, I was like, dude, that movie was awesome. Like talking to some buddies. And I realized like I had no memory of the movie itself outside Wait. i was like yeah that part where like leo got to the plantation and fuck what what else ha i went back and i watched it again sober and i was a hundred percent blacked out by the time he rode his horse into that plantation for the first like 22 minutes into the movie i like blacked out and so i had no memory i got to enjoy Django unchained fully twice I watched uh, Super Troopers 2 with Chiz, and uh, we were so blacked out high that uh, I don't know what happened. I think it was funny. Not as funny as the I first. Think it was funny. Yeah. I got some laughs. I remember that. But it was when uh, it was when they took the state pro um, charges off me, and they're like, we're, the feds are building their case. I'm oh, like, Jesus. what do you mean? The, the charges are already there. They're not going to just charge me the same shit. Oh, no. They're looking for new stuff. They're interviewing people. I was like, oh no. So like during that time, my lawyer was I asked my lawyer, I was like, can I like go to Colorado and get fucking high? Because you know, it's legal there. And they're like, huh. Yeah, don't bring anything back though. Don't don't bring anything back with you. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna bring no. fucking thing back with of course not. <laughs> not and, so, mail it. and so the next week I um I was gone on a weedcation with uh with Chiz. I went on two weedcations with Chiz during that interim between between the charges. We went to Denver one time and to uh Washington State one time to I don't know, somewhere in Washington, but we I don't remember any of that. Movie. Rarer and rarer, like yeah. Well, I mean, there's just no most so many people don't have a reason to go, and then even if you're in a state where you can't get legal weed, it's like, oh, Delta you can get Delta Eight and really HHC, good. which is the same thing. What'd you say was getting rarer? Rare? I missed the word. Like these, weed like what, what, weed, weed like cations, people used to be though. like, oh, we're all gonna go to Colorado and like get high, and it'll be so novel. And now it's like, whatever. Like it's, yeah, it's we would kind make of become so it. normal. We would make a thing of it every year. We would we would rent a cabin or, or a place. So we went down to Telluride one year. It was fantastic. Had a blast there. Um, it's uh, but there's no reason to really do it now. I mean, unless you're skiing, you'd have fun getting high as shit and then friend. and then being on the mountain. Yeah, Kyle hates skiing, but there might be something else he likes. He'd like it. Uh, no, his ankles aren't built for it. But snowmobiles mm -hmm. exist. Sleds exist. too. I would love to do snowboarding. Fast like snowmobiles in there. Like I want to rent a snowmobile and say goodbye to the snowmobile rental man and leave with his snowmobile and buy That's all the insurance. In Vermont. Oh my fucking god, no! You were so lucky you weren't there. That really? was a guided I tour. Like I missed out. Oh, it was horse shit. I, we told you at the time. Like, I remember you feeling bad you didn't get the snowmobile, and I was like, dude. They would. They, they kept us at this stupid fucking pace. It was like being led on one of those horse tours in the in the Southwest, like a donkey tour of the Grand Canyon. Except it was dark and snowy, so there's nothing to see. I would wait. I would stay in the back and let the group get almost out of sight. Their taillights, 
And then mm. I'd gun it down the hill and finally get to enjoy what this thing could do. Because they were, I don't know anything about snowmills. Let's see, that's the first and only snowmill, snowmobile I've ever been on. But it felt right. like a hot rod to me. It felt mm. really fast. And uh, But yeah, maybe two or three times like that, I got to gun it from the back and like see what the thing would do and hear it growl. But the rest of the time, it was a putt-putt tour. It was bullshit. Mm. I was mad. It was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that will be like sounds fun. It looks fun, and people who are good at it make them look light, even though mm. they're clearly not. It's there's a yeah, and it could be parallel. part of a it could just and snowmobiling could snow, snowmobiling could be part of a greater adventure, you know, it could just be the way to get there to the cool thing, you know, if you wanted to, I don't know, do some sort of hunting, camping, fishing, just going to Is see a view on a mountain thing? type thing. You know, it's not. I'm just, I, I didn't think it was. I like my creature comfort so much, man. I really do. Um, it's one of those things. It's like manual labor. Can I do it? Yeah. Do I want to? No, not at all. I'm not a fan of it. You know, I, I, I would love, I love being around all my little gadgets and toys and fucking conveniences. Uh, I, I moved yesterday and everything's not settled yet. So it's like, mm-hmm. where's my pocket knife? So you're where's in this? your where's new that? place right now. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like it? I, 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 I like it a lot. Um, uh-huh. Uh, there's uh there's no carpet here i had carpet in the in the last one in a couple of the rooms um did not like that and i've got a better backyard really? here for sure i really think love carpet's that. better I, I don't know really <sighs> new carpet i think is the ultimate flooring if you've ever bought new carpet you almost lay on it the pad is so squishy the carpet's so clean it <laughs> smells nice it's so Fair. uniform in color and everything it's the greatest I have always kept my carpets too long. You know, we have pets. So, you know, the carpets are soiled here and there. They ruin it. And um, you may even clean the carpet if you try hard. But the pad underneath it, it like you just pretend it's not pee filled, but it is. Um, so I'm bad at I keep carpet too long. But new carpet is fantastic. And the whole world agrees hardwood's better. And I don't get it. It's noisier. It uh, like you have to do that thing where you like sweep off the bottom of your feet sometimes. Uh, do you have a little bot, a little cleany robot? Yeah, we have a couple of them, but the house it's really big. Like it's a we have a lot of square. I don't know how big my house is. I think it's less than seven thousand square feet, but not far. It's, it's still a, enormous. Yeah, it's, it's a, a lot, lot for a little vacuum. You yeah. need a lot of those. What are they? Oh, I think I have a shark. And, we have uh, a Bob and a Roomba, if I recall. Okay. Yeah, um, I I don't know the tiers of those things, but the shark does a pretty pretty decent job of getting like dog hair is a problem, and and just just keeping that out, I can handle the dusting for the most part. But um, but no, I really do like it here. Um, I have uh, a lot better grocery gym? store in this area. Gym. Um, oh, I, you didn't see the video on WhatsApp? No. Oh yeah, I sent some videos of the backyard and the uh, and, and the gym and stuff. I've got this. Uh, it's in a sunroom. It's in a sunroom, and uh, the windows are tinted in the sunroom, Ooh. and uh, it faces the yard. It's got its own air conditioner already installed there. Like it, it's one of those um, like like wall unit air conditioners, not the square enough? ones. But sunrooms are often really everything's big. in there. Uh huh. But um, I haven't assembled everything yet, so I need to see how it's going to look put together. And and there may be a, an instance where I decide to demote because that big yellow thing to, yeah, to, to dump a piece of machinery, like like maybe or. So my elliptical could doesn't need to be in there all the time because I only do cardio when I'm cutting, really. So the elliptical could probably be wheeled out of there. And in that case, yeah, it's enough room. It, my last trip was like that. I was going through Death Valley and BLM land in Nevada and California. And uh, it's like, I don't think there's another human within 80 miles of me right now. Mm. And it's and with the land itself, like, I don't think I, I talked about it on the show and I it blows my mind that I think you could have changed the year by half a million years. It could be 500,000 years ago and there'd be no difference. Like you just wouldn't even notice the time changed. This place is yeah. so untouched by people. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. I mean, um, the U S is huge. You talked about how scary it is to be 80 miles, no people near you. And that, that thought going through your mind, you know, what's scary though is to, is to have that thought. And then here's someone off in the woods. <laughs> And maybe, or maybe hear someone do, make, if you heard someone go, la, 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 Ricola, <laughs> you would reply back with a Ricola. 
because that's right. funny shit. And you know, that's a jovial man who's in his 30s to 50s. Because <laughs> <laughs> he remembers those cough drop he commercials. Knows, he remembers the cough drop commercials. <laughs> and he's taking advantage of the Mountain Canyon's acoustics. But if you heard... <laughs> you'd be like, Quiet. I don't think I'm going to pack up. Let's just rev on the fuck home <laughs> like, what if, what if like, you just heard like echoing of like <laughs> you know what oh. i heard like, like little like g giggles sexy? like those asian scare oh, no is, not sexy spooky this oh, is why spooky. i got into guns i used to go off-roading and because i live far away i'd be the i'd camp there the night before whereas other people would drive up there that morning cool yeah. i'm camping in the woods by myself in kentucky and i think i'm totally alone and no one's supposed to be here. And by the way, there's no running water. There's no reason for anyone to be here. It's supposed to be just me. I think I'm all alone. And I hear a guy say, hey, there's a tent there. And I'm like, what? what? <laughs> How many are out there? What are their intentions? Yeah. Why are they here? What is that? I, I can't win this. So, so I said, hey, everybody, look. I heard somebody. <laughs> Get your guns. Uh, hey, Cletus, this clever. looks like one of them shitty slicker things. <laughs> a, a nice no, REI. Back. I wonder no, if there's Taylor. a wealthy failure right there. <laughs> no, from inside the tent, you yell, hey, everybody, get your knives. I hear some people. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, formation! <laughs> back pattern A. Uh, it, it, it happened more than once. Another time, a stick broke. Why did a stick broke? What's big enough in the woods to be breaking sticks? Is right, it a so human? I, Is it a cat? Yeah. I've, Coyote? I've, I've spent a lot of time in the woods. Like, okay. For three or four years in a row, I spent every morning and every evening of the fall, right? like every day of deer season, I would go morning and, uh, and evening, like three hours each. And you'll hear so many things that are weird. And it, it's it's like you said, it's like... What broke stick? Yeah. I'm armed. I'm ready to go. Like, come on, stick breaker. Step out. <laughs> Break my stick. I can <laughs> Bring come your on. broken stick. <laughs> come on. We, we break all kinds of sticks stick. up in here. I break some back. It's like, so what the fuck is break? Like, but um, I think that it's usually just like weight of a limb, actually like a limb collapsing on itself. Like, like some really rotten stuff is all I can figure. And obviously acorns and shit falling. But um, I've never heard anything in the woods that I couldn't eventually kind of wrap my head around what that must be. There's some weird birds down here that make squawking noise. It's like, like, like it's, it can sound like a screech. It can, it can be weird. And I guess there's bobcats. We, I saw that one on our little trip. And I, and I know that those make a scary screech, but I've never heard one. I've only seen one once. In but, Kentucky, there's... I don't know my cats that well. Bobcats, mountain lions, wildcats, or whatever. But it, there are those. Okay. Yeah. Um, bobcats are <sighs> one of those about 35 pounds and they have like that bobbed tail, you know, that, that like, like little, yeah. and they like scream. Yeah. Um, mountain pounds, lions. I can take it. So, so this is one of those where like mountain lion, whether you say mountain lion, cougar, puma, or like two or three other things, you're essentially talking about the same thing, but it's that big fucking predatory cat that kills people. The one that looks like a miniature lioness, um, the, the the ones that they have in like Southern California, yeah, the big boy over there. Um, they have those in Southern California and in the Southwest, and uh, plenty of it down like south of the border, and those will fucking kill you. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like What's look, it's got I'm it's hearing? got traps. It's it's my fucking dog. She won't shut the fuck up. She's just yeah, yeah, like yeah. You. She doesn't like that you're talking about all these cats. Wait, Zach, I didn't see all the cat stats. There were cat <laughs> stats. Yeah, there were cat stats. <laughs> cat stats back up. Rats. <laughs> I'm watching videos of mountain lions scream now. This would be upset. Do your best mountain lion scream. <laughs> ah, fuck. Hold on. I said scream. What are you? Are you pregnant? I'm trying to. Okay. The <laughs> <laughs> quick Google search says Kentucky has lots of bobcats, <laughs> and the cougars used to live there, but they've been gone for a hundred years. Wow. Oh, you're you're an animal impressionist. Hang on. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Wow. Let, me, let me try and do him if he was Asian. 
Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, they use L. Wow. Slime will absolutely fuck you up. A cat that weighs 160 pounds can kill That's any so person. Scary. 160 yeah. pound cat like have Any you ever been a person? yeah it's all muscle it'll, it'll catch you by surprise yeah i want to grab our biggest person right like a brock lesnar i'm gonna go kill i'm gonna get i'm gonna he's gonna go <laughs> shut that dog up <laughs> I, I i hope he comes back with the giant cat <laughs> yeah i mean i don't think that it's taking brock Lesnar. all right it's gonna take brock lesnar because like I the way that, that they, they come at was you owning a tiger when he was owning a tiger i was like i guess the tiger might know better that he could probably knock it out. <laughs> no, if 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 you if you tried to pick the best fight, if what's his name, Tyson Fury, mm -hmm. if he like threw a big barehanded punch at like a tiger's jaw, like number one, he might break his hand because that's not going to give because it's for sure that's animal. a thick ass bone, and like, right? It would be so insignificant to the tiger that it would take a second for the tiger to register that an attempted attack was made and then it would kill Tyson Fury. You don't think like you don't think like there's an angle or a place you hit it and it's going to shake the brain up a little bit. No chance no the brain gets no up chance that, that a tiger is getting knocked out by. <laughs> so we are talking about like an animal that could be like up to like 600 yeah. or 700 pounds, right? Tigers are the best one to pick because like if a full grown lion like walks by a tiger, it's like, I don't want any of that. Like, oh my God, that's way more intense than I am. Thank yeah, God. Lions Asia, are like and I'm in Africa. No, thank lions you. Lions are like 250 pounds or 300 pounds. And like tigers are like more than double that. But tigers oh, yeah. are always malnourished though. Tigers always have their hanging bodies because they're never like, they don't get enough calories for what they really need to be at their ultimate existence. Tigers, they're kind of like always hungry. I think lions hmm. exist like that too. But if you had a fed tiger, yeah, yeah I guess uh, no. I don't know what I'd rather fight, out. a hungry tiger or a fed one. Actually, they both yeah, present I, I want, problems. I want it stuffed to the gills. <laughs> like, <just Yeah>. couldn't, <laughs> couldn't, I want it to, if it kills me, to kind of like pick at my chest and be like, oh, you don't need this. Like, <laughs> just, Why like, are you feeding rock. me turkey and milk? Shut up, go to sleep. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, this guy's fucking salty. <laughs> There's a lot of sodium in this guy. Unbelievable blood pressure. But yeah, no, you, uh, no boxer could knock out a tiger. Oh no. my God, were we doing that? <laughs> the guy oh my God. Yeah. yeah, when you live on the East Coast here, you don't even realize how remote places can be, like even in America. Now, I've gone on all these motorcycle trips now, so my eyes are open to it. I went on a trip, this wasn't a bike trip, but anyway, last year, and I got strep throat. I couldn't see a doctor until Monday. It started on Friday. Like I was really suffering. It was hard to breathe. Oh, yeah, it was you hard were. to eat. I was I was really, really having a hard time. And like really no doctors in like 90 minutes? That sucks. That super sucks. Um, I go on these long trips and it's like you can't buy a GoPro within 200 miles of this spot. That doesn't happen here. I don't know how many yeah. GoPros are in Raleigh. There must be a hundred. Do you ever there's someone it? ready to go pick you up a GoPro and bring it to you? where you live right now i think you're right oh yeah. yeah for sure yeah does it do you ever process that like man if i hurt myself here i'm on my own and it's gonna be like a helicopter or i'm gonna have to tough it out for miles because i remember we were we were in the middle of nowhere in new mexico on uh your blm land we had driven off of a lonely road for an hour and a half but what you got to keep in mind is it's not that fast hour and a half down a road. It's like off road mm -hmm. driving through canyons and like over washed out riverbeds and stuff. We're in the wilderness, four by four only shit. And we were shooting that minigun off the top of that hill and the round exploded on like on the in inside of my um, um, thigh, like where your femoral artery is. And I didn't know if I thought I would, might be shot. It burned and it hurt bad, and I had seen the flash and the explosion. But I, we finished shooting, and said the thing, and then I immediately jerked my pants down. There's like two, like two women there, and like all my friends, and I like jerk my pants down, fucking butt naked. And there's a cigar burn on the inside of my thigh where that round had exploded and just burnt the shit out of me, but not. Can you help I me understand I hurt you. the mechanic of the injury? Like it. 
a bullet seemed to hit you, but it didn't hit you so, hard. I don't understand. Keep in mind, it's it's a minigun I'm shooting, so it has that big belt that's being fed by an electric motor that's powered by a 12 volt car battery. It's spooling up, so it's forcing those through that belt at an incredibly fast rate, 4,500 per minute, and one of them exploded in the belt against my thigh. So I don't know what part of it hit me or what part of it burned me at all. It was almost dark when we shot it, you know, for effect. Mm -hmm. So I just saw an explosion happen to next to my thigh and had the big nasty burn on my inner thigh. A round went off in the belt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Or or like burst like a, you know, I doubt, don't think like, oh, the bullet took off like it came out of a gun. It's more like the. Needs a barrel for that. Yeah. Yeah. It sort of blew up like a little mini 308 caliber hand grenade. Um, I guess, huh. or something like that. But in that moment, I was real scared because there was no getting to help if you were bleeding. You know, it was going to be hours. It was going to be mm-hmm. like a solid two and a half hours to get to like the guy who has like the thing that clamps your fucking artery <laughs> off. That, that 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 guy with the clampy forcep thing. Like like yeah, he's two and a half hours away, and he's asleep or probably. Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> Thank you.